Congratulations! You are now an under officer. One of your soldiers has reached rank 10 and you have unlocked war game mode permanently. You do not have to participate in war campaigns, so you can just pass the question of choosing a faction so you can stay neutral and only can play staged battles with bots. When you look at your friends list, you can see an icon of a globe at the end of a friend's name. That tells that he is not participating in war. And faction icons tell that they have signed up for that faction for war. Even though you sign up for war, you do not have to play war battles. Just choose to battle, advanced filters, and check for staged battles from the top right corner. If you still have trouble understanding the victory conditions on the battlefield, which I explained in the Bootcamp 3 video, I urge you to still practice more in staged mode before going to a war battle. So what is war mode? Well here the real time strategy side of this game comes into play. In staged mode the battle resources are equal on all sides. Possibly with all the neat toys and specialist classes in it. But in war battles there is no such thing. And no bots. In war. Factions officers, at least rank 12, up to the generals, handle the placement of all resources on the European map. A battle in a town area is assault mode and a battle on road leading to one is a skirmish mode battle. These are explained in the Bootcamp 3 video. A war is won when a faction captures 50 major cities. When a soldier reaches rank 12, he is given the opportunity to buy an assault team abbreviated AT. Assault teams are bought with either war funds or gold and placed into the soldier's inventory. ATs have an experience track of their own and can be later upgraded. A guard AT of 36 spawn tickets is the basic unit for the infantry and it upgrades to having vehicles and more spawn tickets.
on when a battle occurs on the map, it means that there are at least 200 spawn tickets total for infantry and specialists on both sides. As the war rages on, the ATs are sent many times into battle and lose spawn tickets, so there might not be but a ragtag band of miscellaneous spawn tickets left on your battle. It might go down with your battle having only 200 infantry spawn tickets without any vehicles against enemy with all the toys in the world. So war battle resources can be very random indeed. But do not get scared about that. In my experience, a battle with friendly side only having infantry and infantry vehicles wins the battle against an enemy with specialist toys. I would say about 8 out of 10 times. And here is the reason why. You players do not understand the victory conditions and use specialist resources when all is needed is to play infantry and stand on point. Players that do not play for the defense or capture of the control points are usually excited to use recons, tanks, planes and paratroopers and forget to hold the point. And the only way to hold a control point is to have more friendly boots on the control point zone than the enemy. So a pilot in a plane does not do that. There is a time and a place for it, yes. But imagine half the team in air when everyone wants to fly one. The enemy just walks to victory. A tank is useful in hammering enemy infantry, vehicles and tanks, but cannot enter some key points on map. Recon players usually hide far away, so they actually do not put their boots on the point. And are in fact completely useless in the battle, no matter how many kills they make. Paratroopers are used in surprise capturing points, and there should always be infantry backing them up to hold the earlier points. They are not meant for holding a cap. Infantry is. So, all in all, infantry is the most important thing in battles. Always be prepared to switch to infantry if needed. Specialist classes are used only if needed. But Serge, I want to play my sniper and you get more XP from war battles to rank up or... No! You bring a ready soldier to war battle. War mod is not for farming. Stage and ribbon boosters are for that. Here's what equipment is needed from a soldier on a war battle. A car and a motorcycle is a must. Battles need fast reactions and you cannot always rely on others' transportation to action. So you need to be mobile. Cars are actually less abundant in battles because bike ATs are easier and cheaper to get than car ATs. So it is better to have a bike in a soldier's inventory. If you do not own one yet, go farm it in staged and then come back to war. It is just sad to watch people walking from spawn 
when there is a real hurry to get to a point. Next stop, you are accepted to the Urakamies Academy of Warfare.